Well, today, our top story at 6 a.m., it is the Colorado primary day. Voters will decide who they would like to see on the November ballot for congressional, state, and county offices and races. Let's send it out to Allison Zimmerman live at the Mobile Election Center. It is mobile. You could have it outside the Starbucks, but no, Allison, you are reminding us of important things we need to know this morning. Yeah, I was uh, just telling our photographer, Juice, it's a pretty bold claim coming from a meteorologist, Sam Schreier, talking about not working. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we're here at Research and Union at the DMV, one of more than 30 drop-off locations all across El Paso County. And of course, there are more in Pueblo County and all the other counties here in our News 5 viewing area. But we do have a couple reminders for you this morning. If you haven't turned in that ballot just yet, if you're an unaffiliated voter, you likely received both Democrat and Republican primary ballots unless you requested a specific specific party earlier, but you can only vote with one party or else your vote will not count. El Paso County Clerk and Recorder Chuck Berman says they also want to remind people to sign the back of their envelopes. I'm seeing an uptick in the number of people who forgot to sign their signature on back of the envelope. That's critically important that we have that signature. That's how we verify it is you that voted that ballot and not anybody else. We want your vote to be able to count. And if you forgot to sign, you will have an opportunity to fix that once the county sends you a letter to cure your ballot. And if you do need to vote in person, just keep in mind that there are some changes with COVID-19. You can do that at a voter service and polling center like the one right behind us here along Research and Union. But keep in mind, you will need to respect social distancing. Election workers are going to be in masks. They're encouraging people to wear masks, but they are not required. Ira. All right. Thank you, Allison. Kicking off our coverage today. And of course, you can stay with News 5 and KOA.com and our social media platforms throughout the evening. As the results start to come in, we'll be passing them on to you.